Techno tricked us, we didn't see this coming. When they released the Camon 30 Premier and 30 Pro, they were quite expensive and I couldn't compare it with the Infinix Note 40 Pro because it was a no-brainer. Those ones were kind of like 600k, 700k and little did I know that down the line they were going to release the Camon 30s Pro. It is the first techno phone with wireless charging and it is also using a Sony IMX camera sensor which I'm not surprised about. The Camon series has always been where techno showcased their camera technology and how good it can be. While the Camon 30s Pro has a lot of positives going for it, I can say that this is not a perfect phone. It has its own set of shortcomings. For wireless charging, you get this charging pad which is the same thing I got in the box of the Infinix Note 40 Pro. It charges the phone by up to 20 watts and there are people out there that might use it. But I've never really used it. I prefer to use the 45 watt charging bricks that inside the box of this phone. It charges the phone faster and I just want to charge faster and go. To use wireless charging, you need the case at the back of the phone. Without it, it's not going to work. It's hard to align the magnets that will hold the phone without the case. Techno provides you with everything you need to enjoy wireless charging so there is less to worry about. You can also charge other devices at the back of this phone and if you have any third party wireless charging pad available at home or maybe at work, you can also use it to charge the Camon 30S Pro but the max charging speed you are going to get with wireless charging is 20 watts which is a bit slow for someone like me who wants to charge their phone fast and just move on. The battery is 5000mAh on the Techno Camon 30S Pro and it supports 45 hours charging like I stated earlier. At best, you can get up to 8 hours of battery under heavy usage and it can last for 2 days or even more if you use it casually. There are also different charging modes including bypass charging that takes power directly to the phone system instead of keeping it at the battery while you are using it maybe for gaming. It gets quite warm while charging and gaming at the same time. Battery isn't a problem on the Camon 30S Pro. It takes around an hour to charge the phone from 0 to 100 using the 45 watts charging brick which is commendable. The fastest charging phone under the price category that this phone falls under is the Infinix Note 40 Pro 4G. It supports 70 watts charging and I'm currently working on a detailed comparison on the two phones so you might want to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on that video. Techno used the new MediaTek Helio G100 chipset on this phone, replacing the Helio G99 that has been used on a lot of phones. It's a nice change even though the Helio G100 is only 7% better than the Helio G99. Performance is similar to what I was experiencing already with the Helio G99 and you can play all your favorite games like Call of Duty Mobile or Warzone and can even play PUBG and the likes but at the basic settings it is not going to be very smooth when you play for a long period there are definitely going to be lags the phone feels snappy when performing everyday tasks like scrolling through social media texting or even calling people it supports 4g even though on paper techno claims this phone supports 4.5g connectivity and i had some issues with the hotspot when connected to other phones for a long period it will just stop working and i had to restart the hotspot and reconnect all over again there is only one storage option for this phone which is the 8 gram and 256 gig storage space the storage type is ufs 2.2 i'm saying this because there are a lot of people that claim i don't normally say the type of storage space in my videos and you don't have a slot for a memory card you can't expand the memory you are just left with 256 gigs and i feel it's quite okay for most people the back of this phone is plastic which is kind of common at this price point although i know there might be some exceptions and you get a glass back but this one has plastic and the camera cutout still remains rounded like what we have with the rest of the camon 30 series i feel it's a good thing to keep the identity of the phone there is this red light at the back techno calls it the breathing light and it blinks when there is a call or when the device is charging you can turn it off in the settings if you want to but i wish we could use it for most of maybe tailor it around some notifications in the phone the phone has an ip54 water splash and dust resistant rating there is no headphone port and the sim card holder is at the bottom of the phone we have dual speakers here and they sound great with Dolby Atmos support. It's even too loud for me at 100% volume. The size of the volume and unlock key is quite small because the screen is curved. There is also an IR blaster on this phone for controlling electrical devices. You also get a front facing flash 
which is something we don't see on phones that cost this much. The Infinix Note 40 Pro don't have a front facing flash. And quickly, I also want to mention that a lot of users really want this front facing flash to be very useful apart from maybe just taking selfies. They want to use it while making video calls online. Techno take note we have an under display fingerprint scanner and it's quite fast the display is curved amoled with a 120 hz refresh rate and 1080p resolution it gets up to 1300 nits of brightness outdoors which is bright enough to see clearly you still need to increase the brightness levels outdoor or maybe you set it at auto brightness so it will just match with the situation if you are indoors or outdoors watching youtube videos or movies is clear and visible on the display and colors are sharp and contrasty. It displays 100% of the P3 color gamut. You also get a lot of details while playing games. It is also responsive to touch and the curved display means there are going to be a lot of accidental touches. I'm not a fan of curved displays to be honest but it's growing on me. I've been using the Infinix Note 40 Pro for some months now and it has kind of grown on me. The haptics while typing on the display is also just basic. I don't like it not even close to what I'm getting with the Infinix Note 40 Pro in terms of typing experience. Even though the screen is curved, the bezels are quite noticeable but overall the display is okay for the price. The display also functions well even when there is water on it or it's kind of greasy. This is something every brand should start offering us by now. We should be able to use our phones even when the display is kind of wet, not getting those accidental touches. The phone is running on Android 14 and HIOS 14 is the user interface. Techno claims we will be getting 2 years of software updates on the phone. You get floating windows and the rest of the software features we are used to with Techno phones and I'm impressed by the lack of ads displayed on the interface. Ella, the voice assistant also has chat GPT powering it and you also have the option to use Google Gemini if that's what you want. There are a ton of customizations you can do as usual and I'm not forgetting it comes with Bluetooth. There are installed apps on the phone as usual with Techno phones but you can go ahead and remove some of them if you want to. Techno gave us some AI features here. We have the AI image eraser that can be used to remove objects on images. It is quite easy and fun to use. You can just play around with pictures and remove people and objects. You also get AIGC portrait that transforms your selfies into different AI generated pictures but it needs an internet connection to work. Very very good internet connection. Like if the network is poor, that feature will just stress you. There is also an AI text summarizer which is what I have used a lot to summarize web pages. You also get an AI wallpaper generator in the settings and you can have fun to create wallpaper from text. There isn't circle to search and some advanced AI features. I feel those ones are reserved for the Camon 30 Premier 5G. We have a 50 megapixel primary camera with optical image stabilization and thanks to pixel binning, you can snap 100 megapixel pictures with the primary camera of this phone. The chipset used on this phone actually supports up to 200 megapixel camera lens. But I wonder why Techno didn't just go ahead and maybe give us 200 megapixels here. But that will cost a lot more money, I'm very sure of that. The remaining two lenses at the back are a 2 megapixel lens and one auxiliary lens that I don't really know what we are using them for. We have a 50 megapixel selfie camera as well. Pictures are sharp and well detailed, colors are accurate, and I love the level of pictures I'm getting from this phone. Also, I use the 100 MP option in the camera app to snap all the pictures that you are seeing in this video because to be quite honest it is the best option if you want to get good pictures with this phone in low light there is super night mode and it improves the pictures as well using software the selfies are decent and i'll say in terms of pictures you can definitely depend on the techno camo 30s pro it shoots 2k videos and can do 4k but i feel 4k should have been implemented here we have a chip that can do 4k here are more pictures and videos from the Techno Camo 30S Pro. The Camo 30S Pro is not a perfect phone, but for the price of 290k or around $250, it's on par with most of the phones it's competing with. The addition of wireless charging is also a welcome addition for those interested in that feature. 4K video recording would have been an icing on the cake but then we are stuck with 2K on this phone. The build quality and display is impressive and because it's a curved display, some people even think it is Samsung phone when they see me with this phone. That's it from me. Feel free to ask any questions about the Techno Camon 30S Pro in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video.